Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play the new champion as a jungler and it is Lilia. So the first thing you need to know is Q is her main ability. You're gonna be maxing that first, your W second and E last. You're mainly just using your E for the slow and your W is your main burst and then your Q is just your most consistent form of damage. Your W, if you don't hit him in the middle, doesn't do too much. And yeah, she's quite a bit of fun to play. She's almost like an Aurelian soul jungle in terms of her movement speed. You build up constant movement speed stacks up to five whenever you hit uh, any kind of enemy, monster, minion, or champion with an ability. So you start zooming around. You're basically an anime Hecarim. So we're going to go ahead and reset. Got our ward down. Going to go get Oracle Lens. For our runes, we have Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball, Ravenous with free boots, and Cosmic Insight. There's a lot of different stuff you can take for your secondary page. Seems like Sorcery, Tree, Celerity, Nimbus is solid. Really good choice. In this case, I wanted the free boots. I just felt like it'd be a lot safer. Unfortunately, your W is doesn't apply sudden impact. So that is unfortunate. That is why we went for cheap shots. So we could use our E, the blue smite for our R. So you're gonna just start out with an auto attack pull back, hit it with a tip or Q. If you're not hitting it with the outer part of your Q, it doesn't do true damage. So just make sure you're pulling back after your auto attack to hit it should be moving significantly faster than it so that shouldn't be too difficult you can kite it out with your autos just like so we're gonna go ahead and go to golems we're gonna w right about there the big one should never really hit you in this you can auto it over the little medium one because the big one does a lot of damage if you're gonna wanna do the golems just like I'm showing. If you just stand there and tank them like a monkey, you're gonna regret it, trust me, because you'll lose all your HP. I, I've done it, I've been there, I'm trying to save you guys that trouble. Auto attack Q, you wanna try to make sure the majority of monsters can't hit you. Your auto attacks are like thresh autos, and your Q has a lot more range than your autos even have, so just try to take advantage of your slight ranged attacks. That way you can uh, take minimal damage. We zoom over here. Auto attack, put our E in. Your E's AoE slow. I will say I wouldn't recommend this champion against something like Graves. Range champions. Graves at least could give you a lot of issues. Things that uh, you can't kite. You rely on kiting monsters on this champ. I'm going to go ahead and not do the gromp here. Just going to try to heal off of it a little bit. I'm looking to do a gank, but it doesn't look like I have anything to gank. I'm going to go ahead and just do a 5 camp clear and a scuttle crab. You can do a 6 camp clear, but you'll, you'll lose a lot more HP. Normally before you use your W, you want to slow the target first, either with your, with your E or a blue smite. Your W is fairly slow. It's a bit of a charge up. A Donkey Kong punch, you're going to need time to land it. All right, let's go get this guy. We have our passive Q movement speed stacks on, moving pretty quick. We're gonna W, it went through. We're gonna hit him with an E. Get our Dark Harvest stack. And he's out of here. Gonna help her AOE clear, maybe shove it into turret. Now, even if you're playing a low elo, as long as you're not specifically trying to steal the last hits, you're, the person probably won't freak out. So there I try to let her have the last hits and she didn't even ping me. I was taking all the last hits as you can imagine she probably would have uh, would have turned off her computer there so yeah we're getting some dark harvest stacks and starting to scale on your first back I think it's best to pick up a dark seal and then I normally like to go for blue smite dark seal stacks are really important on her if you can manage to get a Majaya's we'll just leave it on dark seal it's really really nice her scaling is pretty strong kind of like an echo if you're not ahead early game, just go ahead and rush straight into your jungle item, especially if you have free boots. If you didn't go for free boots, you can pick up boots of speed and part of your jungle item on your first back. We're going to use our W once again. Make sure you use it to where the big golem isn't necessarily going to cream you initially. And you can auto the big one over the original medium one. So there I messed up. I should have left the medium one there for a little bit longer. I'm actually gonna go. F I actually don't think I can get there in time. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think I can get to Pike. You can get to your camps pretty fast. I'm moving at 445 
with no boots just because of the Q movement speed. It looks like Parthus took our raptors and then said killed him. We'll take our wolves and then we'll go push into his raptors. Your E goes a really long way. It's kind of like a... It doesn't end until it hits something. Whether it be a minion monster, wall turret. Okay, the monster out. Start to get a lot more power after you have two items on this champ. She plays really, really well while she's level 6. And remember to make sure to hit him with the outer part of your Q. Just pull back. If you want to hit him with the outer part of the Q after you land an auto attack, just step back um, like one step and you'll hit him with it. It doesn't have to be the literal tip, just the outer ring. Karthus will be in the area. Zed just. Oh, Karthus went bot. Never mind. Zed killed him and then he went straight into a bot gank. That's interesting. You don't really have to use your E when you're clearing your camps. You can clear them just as fast with your Q. And your E costs way more mana. Just keep that in mind. I don't think we can get Zed. You're mainly just going to be using your Q and your W to clear camps. They always slow them. Hit them over the wall for the speed up. They're moving super fast. Yeah, you see how fast we were? Talon couldn't keep up with us at all. I have my R now. I'm gonna throw out my E. Oh, I didn't land. Use my R. Ooh, got him. Oh, let's see if we can kite this out. Ooh, not quite. We tried. We got a solid amount of damage off. We got a few Dark Harvest stacks. Overall, I'd say that's a success. We got a two for one, even if we had the sacrifice of the vein. I'm gonna try to finish off our jungle item. We can't quite afford it though. So close, man, so close. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was pretty clean though. <laughs> pretty clean, man. You just gotta manage those Q stacks. Once you have five from landing your abilities on any kind of enemy, you're zooming so fast they can't keep up with you. A solid build on this champion is also getting Swifty Boots fairly early. You can start the camp out with your E. Oops, messed up my W there. But in general, against your AoE camps, you're just better off not wasting the mana. Because especially since we're not maxing with the damage it does is fairly mediocre. Remember, you can auto the big golem over the medium one. The big golem has very little attack range. Boom, you can kite him out really easily. As long as you keep your uh, Q at constantly five stacks. Pretty much whenever your Q's up, you're gonna be using it to hit something. I'm gonna zoom over to our Raptors, throw out our E. Oh, what is this? Auto attack W. Ooh, I missed my the girth of my W there. You gotta hit him with the girth, boys. Yeah, there we go. Got him with the tip. Awesome. I messed up my W there. You want to try to hit them in the middle of it. So normally you want to hit them with your E slow or boost might slow. I just completely misplaced my W. Not too shabby though. Lose all of our movement speed. Unfortunately, auto attacks don't refresh your Q movement speed. So now we're, we just lost all of our movement speed stacks. We'll get them back really fast though. Since I'm trying to get my stacks back, I'll just go ahead and use all my abilities on it. Already back to four out of five stacks. Yeah, your auto range is so long on this champ. The only camp that can kind of hit you when you're autoing it at max range is red buff. Red buff has really long auto range. Gromp can too. Gromp's range. Karthus ult's going to be up here in a second. I need to try to heal. Scuttle over here. We can even use our Q on the this guy. Now we're back at five stacks. Karthus is over here. We're going to hit him with our R immediately. And with W. Oh, Vayne took the kill, man. Oh, well. We're going to restack our Q on the Herald there. So we're fast AF. Gonna put another point in our W. Hey, buddy. Bah! Hit him with the blue, hit him with the blue smite auto into Q. He got bopped pretty hard there. 
Oh man, the Raptors aren't there. Let's go ahead and just shove with the wave. Overall, I'd compare this champion to a combination of Aurelian Soul and Hecarim in terms of play style. It's like an AP Soul Hecarim hybrid, and, but it looks like Zoe. It looks like a Disney character all in one. Everything you guys like. Tip for a Q. As long as you're hitting Scuttle, tip. You can take it pretty fast. It allows a lot of armor and magic resist. It's really good to take Ravenous Hunter on this champ. That way you can not die. If you don't take Ravenous Hunter, you get really low on health. Alright, there we go. Da, 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 da. Scrumps up. Auto attack W. Remember, before you use your W on a champion, you want to try to slow them with your... Uh, Ooh, with your E first. See there, I fucked it up. I didn't do what I t just told you to do. I got with my Qs. We're too fast. We're gonna R. Mm. Ooh, you guys like that? Whenever you wake them up out of your sleep, it does a bunch of damage. Oh man, Talon, he dashed on us and ignited. So whenever you hit anyone with any one of your abilities, so obviously not smite, obviously not your autos, but with a Q, W, or E, it marks them for you to use your R. And it doesn't matter where they are. So like if you hit them with your E from all the way over here and they're all the way over there, you can still press R. It'll make them drowsy so you can keep beating on them while they're drowsy. And then once they go to sleep, uh, they stay asleep for like three seconds. And then if you hit them, it wakes them up and they'll take a bitch load of damage. Dead man's might actually be good here. They have a lot of physical damage. They actually have triple AD. I'm thinking about doing it. Oh, Rylize would be so good here though. Yeah, we got we got to go Rylize, and then we'll also go for we'll go for Tabby's. Like I know they have the TF stun, but realistically, it's the town who's gonna keep killing me. So ta it doesn't really matter what boots you go on this champ. You're mainly playing her for the base damages anyways. The boots, you don't have to go Sork Shoes. You're only going to go Tabby's, Mercs, or Swifties. If you go Sork Shoes, it's kind of greedy. I want to get over there and kill Jin. Rushing Rylai's is going to help out your ganks. If you're just focused on damage, then going for Leandre's would be a little bit better. But Leandre's is a lot more expensive. It's uh, 500 more gold, so it's not as realistic. Mm. Got hit him with the tipper, Dark Harvest there. Very nice. In the center. Good stuff. All right, let's go take his blue buff. I uh, wasted my W there. I need to be more patient on that. Talon's on his way. I'm gonna blue smite it I'm really fast. Yeah! Gonna R him. Yeah! Oh, W in the Q. So basically, if you have them slept with your R, if you have them slowed, you can land your W for free. But trying to throw out a raw W is really bad. As long as you have them slowed or slept with your R first, it's solid. Because hitting them in center W is insane damage. Hmm. Feels bad, man. His red's coming up, though. Got 10 Dark Seal stacks. We don't have to upgrade that. We can leave it here if we want. Of course, the monsters can't dodge our W. So we can just smack him with it. Nice. Mm. Oh man, I kind of outplayed myself there. I should have just flashed over the wall to get away. I really wanted to kill Talon though. Stay on with my Qs. Uh, what kind of damage I took? I actually took a lot of magic damage there. Uh, what do we want to get? So many item options on this champ. The main ones is just your AP jungle item. And then tier 2 boots. But then it's all pretty situational. Leandre's would be a good option. 
we can even get this and then build into Leandri's right here. Sucks that we lost 10 mesh stacks. I'm gonna go blue buff into dragon here. Should be pretty free. Oh, never mind. Vayne just died. It's gonna be hard now. <laughs> I love how our ult is global. So even if they flash away or they do something weird, you don't have to aim it. Like after you have your passive, after you hit them with a spell, after you've applied your passive on them, which does damage every time you hit, hit someone with a spell. It doesn't stack. It's just the one. It's kind of like chemo poison. Oh, I almost had it. I almost actually got like a triple kill. My passive finished off the TF. He took some AOE damage there. This thing is from my Q or from my jungle item. Really a skill, so I must have hit him with an ability. That sucks. That was almost a huge pop off. Yeah, that was really, really close. If we just had a little bit more damage or a little bit more health, we would have destroyed them there. We could have waited on our R. We might have used it a bit early. Because all we hit was Jin with our E when we threw it out. And that's only a one man R. If I would have been more patient and hit several of them with a Q first, you can AoE R them. So that's way more damage and obviously way more CC. Might have been a bit premature on my part. Boom. What path? I like how she just jumps around with her staff. It almost feels like that turtle from Kung Fu Panda. So just swinging this goofy looking stick around. She slowed! Oh, I missed it. I, m I missed the timing up back a quarter of a second there. That was bad. Oh, man. Yeah, you can throw your ease over wall, by the way. Throw it over. A <laughs> lob it like a grenade, pretty much. I don't know where this guy went. Got him though. We just need to stay alive. We might end up getting a dead man's plate or need some kind of tanky item. We're really fed and we don't want to lose any more stacks. This champion is all about staying alive and being fast. As long as you have your Q stacks up, you're good to go. Bop. There's TF. I need to heal up more with my Ravenous. It's very easy to start landing your W's, even if you don't land E or R on people. Because you have your Rylai slow, even though I manage to miss it on monsters all the time. Oh, Blitzcrank, no. We got him. Nice. We're out of our Q stacks. You want to try to build up your Q stacks on some kind of enemy before you go into a fight. So look, I'm moving at 420. Check me out here in a second. Now I'm moving at 520 just off of three stacks. I've got 100 movement speed just off of three Q stacks. It's insane. The problem is, is you run out of things to hit if you're not like attacking a minion wave or if you're not in a team fight. We think TF's gonna go. Let's build up our stacks. I don't know, I'm gonna waste R on that guy. That wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, it's not worth. We'll just hold on to it. The R is not even that long of cooldown. It's just a little over a minute. Where's Jin at? I want to hit him with an E. He does a little bit of AoE, but not much. Yeah, messed that up. Got him, though. You can Q flash start up your Q animation, flash into him if you need to. 
They keep throwing out stray W's. They're so bad to throw out on their own. You really have to hit them with the heavy slow before you go in for that. Like that. Blitzcrank landed his CC. I'm going to hit him with R. Got him. I didn't even let my R go off first. When awaken, they take damage. Yeah, so it's just on the wake up part. Whether you wake them up by hitting them or if they just wake up because they've been asleep for a while. I'm going to hit these guys to keep our passive up. We can even hit him with our E. If that would have landed, that would have re reset our 5 stack. That would have been really good. Yeah, we can try to get our Q passive up. Nice. We just got it. Let's go get it on these minions. Let's get out of the turret range. Did the enemies, did they stop playing? I think they got uh, sad because we were killing them too much. We are pretty damn fed. We're an AP anime hacker out here. Okay, let's get the Yandries. And now... I kind of want a defensive item. I can't afford anything though. I mean... Yeah, let's get Robidon, I guess. Robidon's good. Pick up an elixir. This will probably be the last fight here anyways. I think a few of them got sad because we were popping off too hard. Once this champion gets some gold, dude, she's scary because she's fast. And if you're a melee, their team has one, two melee champs. TF's relatively short range. Karthus is skill shot reliant. They have a really bad comp for me. They would need... I don't know. There's something like they can one-shot me like a Twitch, like a Twitch AD carry or... A failure of some kind of big AD carry that just bust you hard because this champion kind of a bit of a damage over time like she has a lot of burst but she plays really well for kiting you out with her movement speed and Q's yeah I think that's gonna be it boys regardless though I hope you guys enjoyed this guide for the new champion in the jungle if you liked it don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time